what's on your mind. Sir? Could you explain the naive Keynesian model? <clears throat> the who? The naive Keynesian model. It was in the... The naive? Naive. Naive. Naive, yes. The naive, their term naive is the same thing, thing that we use. I use the term sharp break. It's the assumption, a simplifying assumption that says the aggregate supply curve has a 90 degree angle. Naive Keynesian model. What does the term naive mean, to be naive? Unknowing. Unknowing, innocent, you know, not, not quite aware. This, you know, what's the assumption in this, in this supply curve when we draw it that way? And this is output or real GDP. Like the price is going to increase dramatically. Yeah, that as you, as you start, say, down in a depression, and as you start coming out of it by stimulating aggregate demand, the assumption is prices won't rise at all until you get the full employment. And we know what really happens, we can't say it without the right color, what really happens is that as you start getting closer to full employment, you start getting some price increase too. And so the real curve looks more like the purple line. But when you get into this intermediate range here, it's not always clear yeah, there's more spending, but how much of that is just buying stuff for higher prices and how much is actually buying more stuff? So we, we assume this out because it makes it real easy. It says, well, you're either down here in a depression or a recession or you're up here in an inflation. Like you can only have one or the other. And the reality is you can have both. But particularly in most of the calculations we've done, we assume the naive model. When we, when we take that equation that says, you know, delta Y star is equal to K delta G, we say, well, if the gap is 300 and the multiplier is 10, then we need to raise government spending by 30. Uh, sounds pretty straightforward. Well, that's, that's assuming a naive or sharp break model. That's all. There are some questions to the effect that if, in fact, the curve looks like the purple line, and you increase spending by $30 and the total spending by $300. If this is where you were and this is where you want to go, and that's $300, that's your gap. Remember, that's the gap. Well, if reality is the purple curve, you'll increase by $300 out to here. You'll get that much more spending but in fact, what will happen to your reality? Reality is you'll, you won't go from A to B. You'll go from A to C. You'll be up here, which means you'll have more spending, but you won't be buying more output because you have some higher prices up in here. Okay? So if it says naive Keynesian, just think sharp break, these numbers, no big deal. If it says, well, if there is that slope, well, fiscal policy doesn't really get us as far as we want it doesn't get us enough jobs. It gets us a lot more spending, but also some inflation. Okay, great question.